Hello, beautiful people, and welcome to Golf Cart Talks. Today, I want to start by telling you about a new thing that was sent to me that's going to be so, so useful for Golf Cart Talks. Like, this thing is perfect for me to use for my phone while filming this because it's so hard to, like, keep this phone stable while I'm driving this very bumpy golf cart. This stabilizer was sent to me. I'll flip it around so you can see. This is the stabilizer right here and I clip my phone right in there and look at this, watch. When you move it, the thing like moves with it so your phone stays in place and it's got a light. Literally this thing is so perfect and I can just sit here and hold it with my phone on it. It is chargeable with a USB and you turn it on just with this button right here you just hold it down and it's a beautiful color and i'm so freaking excited to use this from now on for forever for golf cart dogs and it comes with a little extra little extra length if you want to screw this thing on and you can hold it out even further but anyway i'm just really really excited about this thing because it's so awesome and I think it's gonna make golf cart talks look that much better. So I'm gonna link this down in the description below so you can go check it out. If you ever want to, you know, use it for filming your own oh, look. If you ever wanna use it for your own videoing or I think it'd be really good for like selfies and pictures too, you know, if you wanna if you wanna do that, because you know we all take shameless selfies, it's okay. Just own up to it it's fine linking them down in the description below so you can go check this beautiful stabilizer and light out y'all this thing is seriously so perfect it's so much easier to hold this than my actual whole phone so in my last golf cart talks i talked to you guys about red flags and relationships oh my gosh that house house christmas lights up <laughs> that's me so i thought i would do the opposite of that this time, I thought I would give you guys what to look for in a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Part of this I'm going to have to read off, so obviously I can't do that while I'm driving. So I'm going to have to pull over in a second. Just pull it over here. So a long time ago when I first started dating, my mom gave me some wonderful advice. And the piece of advice she gave me was based off of the Bible verse, 1 Corinthians 13 says love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it does not dishonor others it is not self-seeking it is not easily angered it keeps no records of wrongs love does not delight in evil but rejoices with the truth it always protects always trusts always hopes always perseveres guys it's freezing outside golf cart talks is gonna get a lot harder as we get closer to the winter so the best advice that she gave me was to literally take that verse and replace every time it says love with your boyfriend or your girlfriend's name literally saying like this person is patient this person is kind they're not quick to get jealous they're not quick to get angry they don't boast they're not arrogant they don't keep records of wrongs and they don't hold grudges someone who is hopeful and someone who is ambitious and joyful and someone who is selfless and always thinking about others so that person that's going to stand by you and protect you i just really love that verse it is one of my absolute favorites and when you take and replace love with your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your crush's name. You just start to see like, well, do they really have any of these characteristics? Like, is this someone that I really want to date? Another great piece of advice my mom gave me was after replacing the person you are dating or interested in's name for love, replace your own name with love and just see what truth there is to that and see what kind of characteristics you have. Like for me, like Lindy is patient, Lindy is kind and kind of take a step back and look at that. And sometimes I'll look at that and think I'm really not patient and kind all the time. So of course, you know, you want to look for all of these characteristics in someone else and you want a great girl or a great guy, but you also have to do some, some deep character evaluation and see if you are being the true selfless loving person that 
your significant other deserves. So I just wanted to share that verse with you guys and share that little piece of advice that my mom gave me that's really stuck with me and really holds true to many relationships. I think once you start working from the inside out and building your character, you know, not only does your relationship with your boyfriend or your girlfriend thrive, but your relationship with your parents or your siblings or your friends thrive from that as well. Super windy and freezing, so I'm gonna go now, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. Leave a like if you did and comment below for what you guys, wow, that's a lovely look. Comment below what you guys would like to see in the next golf art. <laughs> it's so cold I can't even talk. Comment below what you would like to hear in the next golf cart talks and I will see you guys later. Bye!